Fred McNeil and thank you for watching QAC TV 7. You're watching a great new show called Senior Moments. Now what we do on Senior Moments is talk to the senior citizens in Queen Anne's County. We've had a series of guests and today uh, it's such a beautiful day we told all of our guests go fishing, go play golf, just get outside and I'm going to spend some time with you talking about senior citizens and poetry. Now before you change the station I read a poem in last week's show, and a good friend of mine who was a retired English teacher called me and said, Fred, all the major poets in all the world has one written wonderful poems for and about seniors. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to read you about 15 minutes with them, very few comments, just going to do a public reading and share some thoughts with you. And the biggest thought I want to remind you is, my guest, in the guest chair today is my favorite senior citizen saying. It says, don't regret growing older. It's a privilege denied to many. Senior citizen time's a special time. A whole new world opens. And let's start with doing some poetry. My first poet is a local poet called Roosevelt Kennedy. And the poem is called Better Every Day. Growing older is lots of fun. You dress the way you want. You sleep, eat, and laugh when ready. You can also eat ice cream with spaghetti. Who cares what is on the news? Who cares what color are your shoes? Who cares if you run around the house bare? No one is looking and no one cares. You don't keep score when you play golf. You lie about the fish you caught. You were an all-American in some obscure sport and you don't need to have a witty retort. Your eyes are bad and your tummy is not flat. Getting dressed is an Olympic sport. The TV channel changer is more than remote and you dance getting on your coat. But no reason to complain. It is the rules of the game. Growing older is lots of fun. Just get better every day before it's done. That was Better Every Day by Roosevelt Kennedy. Now, the poem that the British public said was the most popular poem in England is a poem written by Jenny Joseph. We've read it on the show before. It's called Warning. Jenny Joseph was a wonderful British poet who was born in 1932, tragically died in 2018. But this poem was, the British public said, is the most popular poem among residents of the UK. Warning. When I'm an old woman, I shall wear purple with a red hat which doesn't go and doesn't suit me. And I shall spend my pension on brandy and summer gloves and satin sandals and say, we, know my, we don't have any money for butter. I shall sit down on the pavement when I'm tired and gobble up samples in shops and press alarm bells and run my stick among the public railings and make up for the sobriety of my youth. I shall go out of my slippers in the rain and pick flowers in other people's gardens and learn to spit. You can wear terrible shirts and grow more fat and eat three pounds of sausage at a go or only bread and pickles for a week and hoard pens and pencils and beer mats and things in boxes. But now we must keep our clothes on and dry and pay our rent and not swear in the street and set a good example for the children. We must have friends and dinner and read the papers. But Maybe I ought to practice a little now so people who know me are not too shocked and surprised when suddenly I am old and start to wear purple. And that was Jenny Joseph's warning. And again, many of these poems, uh, some of which we're going to read are quite serious, many of them are just talking about that special time of being a citizen, senior citizen, where you can dress the way you want, say what you want, just as long as you don't hurt anybody, and just have a little fun. Uh, here's another delightful poem, I Still Matter, by Pat A. Fleming. I'm still here, I'm sorry. My looks are nothing special, my face reveals my age, my body shows some wear and tear, and my energy is not the same. Too often my memory fails me and I lose things all the time. One minute I know what I plan to do, and the next, it might just slip my mind. I try hard to avoid my mirror. There are things I'd rather not see. And even those times when I catch a glimpse, I can no longer recognize me. 
The things I used to do with ease can now cause aches and pains, and the quality of the things I do will never quite be the same. I always compare my older self to those younger versions of me, and I know I'm wasting too much time missing who I used to be. But the thing that really makes me sad is despite what people see, underneath my tattered, worn shell, I'm still the same old me. My heart still can feel endless love, and at times it still can ache. My heart can fill with so much joy, and then it can suddenly break. My soul can still feel sympathy and longs for forgiveness and peace, and there are times its light shines boldly through, and times when it longs for release. It's true, maybe now that I'm older, feeling lonely may be status quo, but also has me more willing to forgive and let past conflicts grow. So maybe to some I look ugly and old, a person who barely exists. I'm still quite aware of the beauty inside, and my values should not be dismissed. So although not as strong and no beauty, it's true, I'm still here and want so much to live. And I know that there is no one in the world quite like me, and no one who has more to give. Another poem, again, appealing to the senior citizen years are special years. They're years where you have special qualities and you can do special things. Another poem, The Time of My Life. This is by Allure M. Knight. I realize I've reached the time when it's very plain to see that I now must be selective in what my preferences will be. No longer can I toss a coin to see which direction I should go. As far as speed is getting there, only one would fit, and that is slow. It's wise to have a goal each day, there is no doubt about it. A reason to rise each morning, no one should be without it. Still, if I decide to dilly-dally through the passing day, a bit of procrastination, it's bound to come my way. I can read with great delight great books that I've forgotten, and if I choose, I now can read the ones that were verboten. I do not waste my energy on things that I can't change. If I spend time on past mistakes, I soon would be deranged. Life has much to offer to each and every one. I hope to conquer many things before my time is done. When I've fulfilled my challenges and hopefully passed each test, then I will wave a fond goodbye, content, I've done my best. So many of the poems written for and about seniors, one, you have to have a good sense of humor. One, enjoy every single day. And perhaps the most one is saying, don't regret anything. Just keep living and keep having fun. Uh, I have a good friend who's an English teacher who, when he, I heard, he heard that I was going to do something on the poetry and senior citizens, says, Fred, there's only one poem about senior citizens you have to read. I said, OK, what's that going to be? That's one of Shakespeare's sonnets, Sonnet 73 which is all about being a senior citizen. And let's read this, okay? This is one of Shakespeare's classics, short sonnets. And I'm not gonna play the English teacher and explain it all to you, but the metaphors and the allusions to a nature and growing order are magnificent. Sonnet 73 by William Shakespeare. That time of year thou mayest in me behold when yellow leaves, or none, or few, do hang upon those boughs which shake against the cold, bare ruined choirs were late the sweet birds sang. In me thou seest the twilight of such day, as after sunset fadeth in the west, which by and by black night doth take away death's second self that seals up all the rest. In me thou seest the glowing of such fire that on the ashes of his youth doth die as a deathbed whereon it must expire consumed with that which is nourished by. This thou perceivest which makes my love more strong to love that well which thou must leave ere long. Uh, Shakespeare in the opening lines talking about uh, life and our lives is much like a tree. As we seasons change, we change, and now we're entering that very special uh, time of our life, autumn, uh, where the leaves start falling. But still, we have you know so much to offer and so much to do. Perhaps the best poem 
ever written. And it almost a little dark, but a challenge to us seniors, Dylan Thomas's Do Not Go Gentle Into the Good Night. Now this poem was written apparently as Dylan Thomas was sitting at the deathbed of his father. It's a very strong poem and a very good message for seniors. Do not go gentle into that good night by Dylan Thomas. Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. The wise men at their ends now dark is right. Because their words had forked no lightning they. Do not go gentle into that good night. Good men that last wave by, crying how bright their frail deeds might have danced in a green bay. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Wild men who caught and sang the sun flight and learned too late they grieved it on its way. Do not go gentle into that good night. Grave men near death who see that blinding light. Blind eyes could blaze like meteors and be gay. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. And you, my father, there on this sad height, curse, bless me now with your fierce tears, I pray. Do not, Joe, gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. And that's still in Thomas's poem, uh, telling his father, live, you've lived a good life. Enter the next stage of life with a sense of rage and a sense of honor and a, a wonderful, strong poem. Hey, here's one that's just fun. Uh, Adam Sandler. You say, well, he's not a poet, Fred. He's an actor. He's an actor, but he's also a man who's good with words. And this is a, a poem and a little ditty that was uh, part of the uh, wedding song, uh, the play. Now, if you remember, Billy Idol was speaking in the movie, good afternoon, everyone. We're flying at 26,000 feet, moving up to 30,000 feet. And then we've got clear skies all the way to Las Vegas. And right now, we're bringing you some in-flight entertainment. And this is going on in the movie. <clears throat> Excuse me. One of our first class passengers would like to sing you a song, inspired by one of our coach passengers. And since we let our first class passengers do pretty much what they want, here it goes. I want to make you smile whenever you're sad. Carry you around when the arthritis is bad. I wanted, all I want to do is grow old with you. I'll get your medicine when your tummy aches. Build you a fire if the furnace breaks. Oh, it could be so nice growing old with you. I'll miss you. I'll kiss you. Give you my coat when you're cold. Need you, feed you, even let you hold the remote control. So let me do the dishes in our kitchen sink. Put you to bed when you have had too much to drink. Oh, I could be the man that grows old with you. I want to grow old with you. And that's one of the delights of um, married couples. I mean, is there anything as delightful as seeing an old couple uh, or, or senior citizens? I see it. I love going to Ocean City, walking down the boardwalk. They're holding their hands. They look like a bunch of 19 or 20 years old people. They're in love, and you can see they love each other, and they care for each other. And growing old together is kind of fun. Now, the last poem I have is a Dr. Seuss thing, and it's just hysterical. Now, a couple lines I'm going to skip. But you're just going to laugh. And remember, we've done Shakespeare. We've done Dylan Thomas. We've done some local poets. The whole world is wanting to, he's writing these wonderful poems to seniors. And us seniors have to remember growing old and experiencing 55 plus is an act of poetry. It's an act of life. And it's a lot of fun. Laugh. Enjoy life. Rage against whatever you want to rage against, but don't go quietly. This is uh, Dr. Seuss. The cat in the hat on aging. I cannot see. I cannot pee. I cannot chew. I cannot beep beep. That's a local sensor. Oh my God, what can I do? My memory shrinks. My hearing stinks. No sense of smell. I look like beep. My mood is bad. Can you tell? My body's drooping. I have trouble pooping. The golden years have come at last. The golden years can beep, beep, beep. And that's Dr. Zeus. And remember, laugh, have fun, and enjoy us in QATV7. In the future, we have some people coming from the public library. We have someone coming from the sheriff's department. We have some folks coming from the YMCA. 
all to help you enjoy the senior moments of life. My name's Fred McNeil. Thank you for spending some time with us. We've done a little poetry today. It's springtime, and even though us seniors perhaps are entering the autumn part of our life, it's the most fun. Thank you again for watching QAC TV7. My name's Fred McNeil. My time's up. Thank you for your time. We're going to see you next time. And remember, read a little poetry.